What's going on, my friends? Raider here with another video. It's almost Memorial Day weekend here in the United States. And uh, I gotta tell you, there's nothing worse than getting barbecue sauce and stuff on your phone while you're trying to eat. So how about a little something like this? Check this out. Fling videos like that, put two fingers up, and then it'll start going the opposite way. And what else we can do is we put our palm up, a single finger, bring it back down. Now we can raise up the volume and we can also raise it down. You can even do a little action to like your videos. So we're doing all this with a fairly new app that's out on the Play Store. It's called Spatial Touch. I know I very rarely talk about third-party apps, but I think it's a really cool way of controlling your phone, enough so that I want to do a quick video about it. But let's go ahead and check out this app. I think it's kind of clever. All right, so you can find the Spatial Touch app inside the Google Play Store. It's free. You can pay for an upgraded version inside the app. That'll unlock some additional functionality. And also you can see here that they are making active updates on this, most recently May 20th. I did do a little background check on this V-Touch developer. Uh, they seem legit, nothing came up as red flags. So once you open the app, it's gonna look like this. Now obviously the purpose of this app is to do hand gestures in front of the application. So we'll go ahead and start at the top right corner. We'll start with the settings. So what you have is you have some flexibility on what you can do for your gestures. You can adjust the range, the sensitivity, the drag speed, and these are all related to certain gestures within the app. And then you also have your two finger drag speed. We can also adjust the indicator. That's that little box that you saw when I was doing the little demo there at the beginning of the video. So you can adjust the text size and the background opacity. So you have some nice flexibility on how the UI and the gestures will work on this app. You get a link to their website and also the privacy policy. I should mention when you install this application, it does request a couple permissions, one to your camera and one to your accessibility because it has to interact with your screen. Once you're back on the main screen, you can go ahead and upgrade to Pro if you want. Here is where you like enable this service or turn it off. So if you don't want this interacting with you at all and you don't want to uninstall it, you can just turn this toggle off and you'll never see any notifications from it. It just won't do anything. It'll just be sitting on your device. Otherwise, you can turn it on and then it's ready to go. And when I mean ready to go, it's ready to go with these apps. So these are the predefined apps that it has gestures already set up for. YouTube, Shorts, Instagram, Reels, all that stuff. As well as some of your streaming movie services like Netflix and Disney+. Plus. And then you have some music controls for like Tidal and Spotify. So they cover the gamut pretty well as far as the main applications that it supports by default. And if you upgrade to the Pro version, you can basically customize it to work with any app. And then down at the bottom here, we have some gesture tutorials. And these gesture tutorials are like interactive. So I can like put my fist right here and you see it's recognizing it there. You know, my phone's going out of focus there, but you get the idea. So the box will pop up and stuff when it recognizes your hand. But one thing I don't like about this tutorial section is it doesn't really tell you what these actions do. So like nowhere on any of these screens, like here, this one, if we go into the other tutorial, Nowhere on here does it say that it'll do this in YouTube, it'll do that in TikTok. And I don't see any type of like tutorials here within the application or within the settings. So if the developers happen to see this little video, uh, it would be really cool if you made it a little more intuitive. Like I had to sit around with the application to kind of play around with these different three gestures that it talks about to kind of figure out what they'll do in YouTube. And you'll notice when you go through the tutorials, there's actually like a couple different gestures. So you end up with like five or six. And it does kind of suck to sit there and have to try to figure it out. So that is one downside I see with this app. But all in all, I think it's pretty cool. This is pretty like intense functionality, you know? Can you imagine just sitting around your friends or something and you just bust this out in front of them? Especially if you took the time to get pretty decent at it. It does take a little bit to get comfortable with it, but after that, it's not so bad. So I just thought it was a cool little app. I wanted to share it. This will work on pretty much any Android device that has a decent front-facing camera. That's all it's really relying on. One more thing before we wrap this video up. One thing I do like about this app is that it's kind of cool that you know when it's working and then when it's kind of disabled itself. So like when we open up one of the supported apps like YouTube here, you're gonna see it like does this little toast notification up in your top bar there. And you're also going to see the green dot on our Samsung devices. So that's Samsung letting you know that the camera's in use. Because remember that green dot lets us know that either our camera or our mic is in use on our Samsung devices. And once we go ahead and minimize out of YouTube, you're going to see that little green dot disappear. Pretty decent of them that they only have the service enabled when those supported apps are up and running. So that's pretty cool. So hey, if you have any questions or comments about today's video, please drop them down in the comments section below. Really do appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.